these are um, what I would call mud screen um, for the motors. Um, I have put a couple posts on um, the forum RC Sparks about these. Um, they're something I make. Um, you can probably make them yourself. They are just a very fine, fine screen. Um, I would say they are, well, they're so fine that a, a desktop staple will not uh, go through the holes. So they're, they're pretty fine, but you can still, as you can see, see through them. And what I do is I cut them into strips because when I get them, they're in a big circle. Um, cut them into strips, and then I liquid tape the, out, the outer edge for a couple reasons. One reason, so that the screen doesn't fray apart, and so it doesn't stab me. And the other reason is, it kind of puts a, makes it a non-slip um, grip when you put it around the motor, and you zip tie it. It doesn't slip around like it might if it was just bare metal. Um, I've made a few of them, different sizes, different lengths, different widths, just to see what, you know, what the best, um, the best performing, uh, piece is. I have one on my Axial Dingo, as you can see right there, um, works really great. Instead of pantyhose, you know, having the possibility of catching on fire, um, this won't catch on fire because it's metal. So, you just make them wide enough to, um, to be able to cover the holes, the vent holes for the fans. And you wrap it around. And then you would put a zip tie around it. Pretty simple. Um... It's not too difficult. It's pretty easy. Um, I just don't know where to find the other a screen like this that is available to the public. Because, like I said, I get these at work. Um, so, I've heard maybe a pool filter screen um, might work. I'm not sure. I've not tried that. I've not even looked into it really. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out with an issue or you know having to take on and off the pantyhose or whatever it is. This is more of a permanent solution.